Hello, hello. In this video, I am going to be showing you uh, how to integrate Squarespace with Thrivecart. And I wanted to walk you through right from the start, just the lay of the land of Thrivecart. I'm not going to spend too much time because they do have some good resources and info where you can find elsewhere. And also it's very, very straightforward. Um, but I will give you a quick lay of the land of everything just so you know where things are, what's important and whatnot. So let's dive into it. We have here two sections to it. Your affiliate account, when you create it, it's more like the other people who have Thrivecart who are selling their products or courses, for example, like Rach, Square Silas or Bryony from Untapped and um, or Thrivecart itself and you want to you're an affiliate of these people right and then so this is when you would like view your products and um grab a a code for example so let's say sales workshop copy code and then you can send that to somebody um cool so back here so back to here this is what this is the one that you actually want is go to accounts and um here you've got your dashboard which is Basically, like I've got USD and Euros and um, you can change the date of, you know, last six months, last year and uh, what kind of products you want to have and all of it will come down here. We have, uh, let's see, I will tackle the products one last just because it's quite in depth. Uh, let's go transactions again you will find all your transaction and subscriptions in here um, so if you go to last six months uh, you can see here so this was a tester one for example and you can view it you can pause it you can cancel it um, you can also send people their um, last six months you can also send people like refund them invoice more um, and then yeah just see all the info there then we've got the partners i don't really do anything with the partners uh the learn section if you want to have a course like i might actually consider hosting a course in here in the future um and yeah so you can edit your student dashboard what it would look like and it's really just like drag and drop uh exit without saving and then your student login page what that would look like so again you can uh, play with the colors play with the fonts um and that comes with your Thrivecart plan. If you want to go to the Learn Plus, this is an extra um, 195, I think it is. And you get like bundles and team access and student import and things like that. So um, totally up to you if you want to upgrade or not. But otherwise, you do get Learn, like all of this here with it. I haven't upgraded to Learn Plus. Let's see if I will do that in the future or not. So next part is we'll tackle yeah products last um my profile so all of your uh, things that you need to know just update everything here <laughs> and then go to my profile let me go back um users so you can choose you know like to add a new user or not uh switch accounts don't really need to switch accounts to be honest. Um, settings so you've got all these different settings here um I don't use any of this I don't use this legal and compliance I also don't use run tax report I also don't use I don't use this one either manage users this would be like um, you know if you are working with someone else um, blacklist I don't use integrations yes because I use um stripe and paypal um for mine so you would just go in and like hook up your stripe account with it your stripe business account or your paypal business account and then account wide settings this is important this is probably the only one that you actually really need uh so this one here is the most important one so this is a c name and what that means is instead of saying i don't know something something dot thrive dot com you want it to be your own so mine is cart.arrohavisuals.com and um, the way you do that you actually need to go to your domain so let's see if you want to go to your domain arrohavisuals and uh, 
DNS settings. Cool. So like in your DNS settings, you'll see Thrivecart here. So you'll have to create a C name. Um, it'll step you through this, by the way. Uh, create a C name, uh, make the data alias.thrivecart.com. And then basically, um, what do you want it to be called? It can be called cart, it could be called shop, it could be called courses, right? Anything you want. And so I'll show you here, but it's really just like host would be, um, say you want it to be shop, type would be C name, um, alias data would be alias at thrivecart.com. And then you would just click um, save and then that's it. And then you'll have to wait 24 hours. Uh, so we'll just cut that. You do have to wait 24 hours for that to show up. So give yourself um, plenty of time. Um, don't do it like right before launch. So go back. Uh, Facebook domain verification. Um, yeah, you could do that. These things that you can do, you just don't have to really. Uh, affiliate areas. So if you want to uh, have people be an affiliate for your product, and you want to give them 20% off or something like that, you can jump into here. And um, yeah, you can do some settings here. Uh, customer hub. Uh, I don't really think this is, this is more like enable disable finances. I don't really touch that. Invoices. Um, nope, don't really need that. So really just the C name. So going back. Uh, that is that. Um, API and web hooks. Do you want to double check? Yeah, no, I don't use this. Cool. Um, so product time. Right. Um, again, I'm going to go back to front and do the products last because this is quite extensive. Um, products, coupons. So here you can create a new coupon, which is a discount code. Let's say I've got this Black Friday sale. Um, if I want to re-enable it for this year, I'll hit edit, um, Black Friday sale, put in the code, enable or disable, right? Um, how much is that percentage or fixed price or free shipping? And, um, does it apply to only the main product or the product and bump or the entire funnel, right? So, yep. And then when is this coupon redeemable? Um, you can set an expiry date. So that was like in 2021. Um, will it apply for an affiliate? Will it disable after a fixed number of uses? And then you can choose your specific products. You can choose all of my products or just specific products. And I think I had something down here, right? And then you can add a rule. I don't usually do that. Um, you could, and then hit save. And then basically you can copy URL and then send it to someone. Um, so for example, a nomadic template, copy and continue, when you paste it in, this is what it looks like. So you've got the car domain, you've got the product here in the middle, and then you've got the coupon code at the end. So the coupon code is automatically applied. So that's cool. Then we've got A-B testing. Well, I haven't dived into that yet. That's quite advanced. Uh, then you've got upsells and, upsells and downsells. So <clears throat> I don't, use this a lot or enough um i haven't felt the need to yet it's also quite an advanced thing but basically an upsell is so you've got a course and they buy the course and you want to offer them a complimentary consulting call or um an extra mini course or something and it's like they've purchased something already and you're just gonna like sell them something else um, a downsell is more like um they decided the course was out of their budget um but maybe they have the budget for something that's a smaller investment. So let's say a course is a thousand, but you have a mini course for 75, right? So you can still capitalize on the fact that they want to learn from you, they want to purchase from you, and you can down tell them something else, maybe something more scalable, PDF, an ebook, or a mini course, right? Um, so that is what uh, a down sale would be. And then finally, onto our product section. So. I will walk you through this one that I've just created and I'll just give you a quick tip here. You don't actually have to create one from scratch every time. So if you created a base one, you can just hit this and duplicate it. And then once you've duplicated it, you just go through and like change other text, change other um, links and the pricing and everything like that, right? 
and the wording. So let's hop into this one and we'll go edit. So you put in a product name, label, um, all of this. So this is all very straightforward. I'm not gonna go too much into this. Um, you can choose different currencies. You can create different pricing options. So one time subscription, which is like ongoing. Um, split pay is like, say you've got uh, a payment plan. Say your course is 1,500 and they can't pay it all at once. Um, you can just split it over three times. So it'd be three times 500 or pay your own price. Um, you can have a trial period, which is actually really cool. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, you can choose if you want to take these or not. Do you want to set up a bump? So this bump would be the upsell or the downsell. And then make sure you've uh, integrated with Stripe or PayPal so that you have a way of getting paid. And then do you want affiliates to promote this product um, after purchase? what do you want people to do so you can send them back to a url so you can either like display their total invoice or you can send them to a url that's like back on your website or you can send them to your course learning portal if you're doing that through thrive thrive cart and then this is the fun part so we have four different styles uh let's see if i was to say so I'll show you what standard looks like. So the difference basically being standard is a URL and it looks like this. I will copy URL and then I will go back to here. I will paste this in. So this is hosted on Thrivecast. So we've got cart dot, um, I don't know, visuals .com. So this is hosted on Thrivecart. This is what it looks like. It's just a checkout page, right? Now, if we were to make it a pop-up, we were to save and get URL, it would be very different, right? So we would copy button code. This is when um, Squarespace comes in. So let's go back to here. And uh, let's just say, for example, we added a new section below. Actually, I don't want to use this page. Um, let's create a new page, blank page. Uh, check out the live parts. Let's say you had um, its own page and you added a section and you wanted this to be embeddable uh, let's say add section, uh, let's say you had some text above, you wanted to direct people back to your page and you wanted the checkout to be on, hosted on your website. So we'd go code, uh, we would paste that in and then stretch that out, save. Exit, let's see if it did anything. And then when you hit buy now, let's see if it does anything. So it's taking a while. There we go. Okay, so it's taking a while. So if you were to do the pop-up, you wouldn't have so much information. You would just have this contact, choose pricing option, and then complete enrollment. Um, you wouldn't have all of this because it's a lot to scroll down. But this is basically what a pop-up is. Now, let's go edit product settings. So that's one way. And uh, second way is embeddable. So if we were to save and get URL, copy embed code, go back down here and come back to this code. We'll paste that in here, save, exit. And then you can see that this has been embedded in here. Um, yeah, so it's on the website. You can get rid of the background if you want to. So it'd be like on the website, and um, they get to check out that way. So that's also another option. 
uh, edit product setting. The last one is the sales. So let's go to check it out, sales cart. Uh, if we go copy your so there's not actually a huge difference in the tool. Let's go. Okay, cool. So there's not a huge difference in this one. Um, basically, the only thing is that it's going to be a sales page. So, so it's like, instead of being the checkout page, which is like the full width, it's now in the middle, centered in the middle. So people can just scroll and their eyes just kind of stay centered in the middle. And the thought behind this is that you would have you would have like a video and then some text and then you'd have like fasting questions and what the modules are and you don't want to have too much going on either side you want to keep it concentrated and like in the middle going down so this sales cart is more like a landing page with the checkout billing information down the bottom whereas the standard which is my favorite um it's just uh, a page and uh, you, I would rather have the sales page done the way I want to do it on my website with a button, let's say for example, make it as like purchase course and have that button go to this standard sales page. I think that's just the cleanest way to do it. So now if we go to design, you can launch the editor and this is all very self-explanatory, but you can customize almost everything like the colors where you want things, um, even adjust SEO settings, um, just click on something, for example, and you can, you know, choose your layout here. You can choose your font, adjust padding, font size, all the things, um, click on, you know, this info part title color customer name like all the different fields you can add an extra VAT field as well if you want so there's so many different options um, I will let you play around with that and then on here it's quite an easy drag and drop so you just if you want to put a video or um, extra guarantee seals or um, testimonials um, maybe a countdown timer so all of these things you can just drag and drop them in Right, why is this not working? Oh. Ah, it's because I'm on, I think it's because I'm on Loom, to be honest, it's, it's not gonna let me <laughs> do everything at once. Um, but yeah, so put some info in here, do it however you like it. This is the logo, you can play around with it as well. And then when you click, actually there's um, a mobile version, which is great, and this is what that would look like. And then there's a desktop version, so definitely look into both. And then when you click next, this is the success page. So basically what people see after they've checked out, um, this would be like their receipt in a way. And uh, yeah, what do you want them to do next? In this case, I was like, book an onboarding call with me. If you have any questions about invoices, message this email. Um, yeah, just like, I think, um, have a little love note waiting for them at the end because it's um, always quite scary for people to invest in something. And so I always want to have a, a fun, lighthearted message. And then once you complete, uh, go next, tracking. So if you have Facebook Pixel, Google, highly recommend putting it in there. I just haven't done it for this particular one yet. And save and get URL and then copy URL. And then, for example, when you're integrating it on Squarespace, there's two ways you can do it. Um, let's say we made this button uh, five or enroll. Now, go to link, go to open a new window, save. And it's important, by the way, to open a new window so that, I mean, you can choose, actually, you don't have to. Um, if you do, it just means that it would open up in a new tab, basically. So you can do it that way, or you can do it as a as a text enroll. Now, let's say this is paragraph four. We want to make this uh, apply and uh, hit save. And now if we were to go exit, we've got these two here. And basically, you click on it, it goes to this page, right? So it's very, quite a smooth transition. Um, or you click on this text 
mm, this text link and it also takes you th to this page. So I just try to make sure that the aesthetics are very similar and um, yeah, that's basically it. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I hope that was helpful and um, Thrivecart is fantastic, super powerful and I love that you only pay for it once and just keep going um, and they keep releasing new uh, features here and there and what else I yeah it's just super powerful um, I use it for my monthly retainers for some of my clients I sometimes use it for split paying like payment plans for projects and um, for example if a project is 8k and they want to pay 2k every single month sometimes it's actually easier to do it in Thrivecart than it is to do it in a CRM system like Dubsado and um, yeah I would say that is all I have to say about Thrivecart and Squarespace um trying to think if there's anything else if there is let me know and I can always record another video for you so yeah thanks for watching and um, have fun with Thrivecut